Hey, yo, what it do? Another question that I get asked quite often is why I got to talk about God so much. So why do I now have to make music for God or about God or why do I got to post so much about God on Facebook, Instagram, I don't even go on Instagram, but on Twitter and whatnot. And, you know, it's, they think that it's irrelevant to right now. Like, okay, you, you, you want to go to heaven and that's all cool, but you ain't got to talk about it now. Well, it's not about what's going to happen later. Jesus said, this is eternal life, that you know the Father now, that we know him now. So a lot of us Christians have turned the gospel into just a ticket to heaven, right? So it's just all about, oh, you got to get to heaven, you got to get to heaven. That's not what the gospel is about. It's about more than that. It's about eternal life now, Christ in us, the hope of glory now, right now, his power to transform your life. You know, unless you're incredibly young watching this, you're going to see that sin brings death. The Bible declares the wages of sin are death. You know, you, if you sin, it brings death. You know, if, if, you're, if you're a married man and you start having an affair, it's going to bring death. You're allowed to do it, but just know the consequences of that is death. It's going to destroy your family. It's going to destroy you. It's going to destroy your wife, your children. It's what, it's, that's what sin does. So eternal life now helps us battle these things in this life so that we can have life, eternal life, right now in this life. You can have healing. You can have breaking of addictions. I know one of the things with me, even after I had got saved, I used to smoke weed, you know? So I would be smoking blunts, I would go into the studio and everybody's smoking blunts and I try to quit so many times. Like, you know, I would try to quit and then I would smoke again. I would be in church Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon I'd be in the studio smoking a blunt. Didn't mean I didn't love God, but I had a serious addiction. You know, and so I remember the last time I ever smoked weed, I just kind of gave up. I was like, Lord, I can't do it. You're supposed to be God, you know, not, not to be condescending, but true. Like, I can't do this. Like, I've been trying to quit. No matter how much I try, I can't. It's on you. And I just gave up. I gave up trying to quit. And about a month went by, and one day I was just like doing something random, and I'm like, Yo, I ain't smoked weed in a month. I didn't even notice. And it was like that, that draw, that it You know how addictions, no matter what your addiction is, you know, whether it's porn, whether it's drinking, whether it's smoking, whether it's sex, there's this draw. Like no matter what you're doing, it just calls you, right? So you could be doing whatever, random stuff, and all of a sudden it calls you like, yo, you need to go do this. It, it left. I got delivered from it, and I haven't smoked weed since. I ain't judging you if you smoke weed, do your thing, but for me, it wasn't something I wanted in my life because it steals your time, it steals your energy, it steals clarity of thought, it steals motivation, it, it, it does a lot of things that for me were detrimental, so I didn't want it in my life, and I got delivered from it. So it's not just a matter of, Oh, it's a ticket to heaven and, you know, at the end of this life, something awesome happens. That's not what the gospel is. The gospel is the kingdom of heaven inside of you right now to heal you, to deliver you, to bless you, to strengthen you, and to create you in the image of God. And that perfect image is Jesus Christ. All right, y'all, be blessed. I love y'all. Believe the gospel.